Games with large open worlds are absolutely fascinating. There's nothing like being able to jump into a virtual world and being able to explore it as much as you would like, as far as you would like. But one of the big challenges to many new players is figuring out how to navigate that world, where to go for quests, or what's around them. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a very simple mini-map to help those newer players who are trying to navigate your world for the very first time. But before we go ahead and jump into that, if you enjoyed this video and want to see even more just like this one, be sure to like and subscribe button down below. And with that, let's jump right into the video. All right, so let's go ahead and have a quick look here at this mini map. So I already have it here on my right hand. As you can see, this one specifically looks a little bit fuzzy. Um, that is something you can change if you would like. You, you are able to make some modifications to the mini map's texture in order to increase or decrease the resolution. And that should, um, th that should modify your mini map here if you would like to change what this looks like. As you can see, it's a little bit rough and you can see that's my right hand right there, just kind of moving around. Um, and I can just move it around as, as I normally would. Uh, that little black square there is of course the mini map here. And let me see if I can get a good look at it. Yeah, so you can actually see there is my uh, other motion controller, which is actually underneath as well. Um, I don't think I can get it all the way under because this thing does not light up. So it, it just goes solid dark when I aim it towards the sky like that. So, but anyways, this is how this works. And it'll also keep tracking me even, af even as I move around. You might have been able to see it very subtly. So let me go ahead and walk all the way over here to the right. And you, can you should be able to see much more clearly the grid is now moving along with me. And I can go the other direction and the grid will start following me that direction as well. And you can see that the entire time I stay roughly in the center of this play space. My camera doesn't actually have a visible mesh, so you're not going to see that here. Um, and you can't see the uh, the camera that or, or the capture component that's pointed down at, at me here either. Um, that's entirely invisible. But that kind of gives you a pretty good idea of how this functions and how all this works. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a very simple and easy to use mini map that you can just attach on your hand. So let's go and jump into the tutorial and I can show you exactly how all this is done. Now that we have seen how this mini map is going to function, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. To start, open up the VR pawn and give it a new scene capture 2D. I'm going to call this scene capture component mini map capture. And make sure it is attached to the root component. And I'm going to position our new component above the player and point it down so that way we'll get an overhead view of our player. Then give this capture component a canvas render target. I'm going to create a new asset for this and store it in a folder called texture. Later, we'll need to come back in here to make another component to display the render target. But first, let's finish setting up our mini map capture. Open up the event graph, and if you don't have it already, go and create the event tick. And we're going to need to set the world location of the minimap capture. The world location Z is going to be the world location Z of our minimap capture component. So it's going to stay the exact same Z. Then the world location X and Y are going to be the world location X and Y of our player camera. This is going to make sure that the minimap camera will always stay exactly above the player, even if the player is walking away from the center of their play space. Once you've done this, go and leave the VR pawn open. And for a quick second, let's go ahead and open up the content browser to create an asset that we're going to need for our minimap. Navigate to the canvas render target we created. Right click on it and press create material. Now we're ready to add it in the mini map. So I'm going to go into the player's viewport, create, give the player a plane. And in this case, I'm going to attach it to the left hand. And then I'm going to give the plane this new material that we just made. Now 
And with that, we have a very simple minimap that will allow for our player to see themselves from an overhead position as well as their surrounding area very simply. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe button down below. And, with, and also, I'll give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters who you should see somewhere over here on the right hand side. And with that, I'll see you in the next reality.